All right, Shalom Israel. Once again, it's Brother Kalab. I'll shine the highways and byways. Probably shine the downfall and destruction of Babylon the Great. Spirits of Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, we're teaching repentance to the house of Israel. That they may turn back to the power which is held by Shimei al -Shai. But before I get before I get started, I want to exalt my power, which is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rahakadash, which is which is the God of gods God, and the gods of the world, and which is the God of the Israelites, which pertains which, which pertains to the nation of Israel, which in these modern times would be the so-called African Americans, Hispanics, and Latinos, and, and so-called uh, Native Americans. Okay? So we're out here uh, prophesying of the day of the end the end of times to come okay and we see uh we see this devil so-called white man which is a uh, biblical name is esau edom right um he's coming in with great wrath ultimately to set up this dystopian world efforts to offset the prophecies and destroy the uh the nation of israel okay because he has no he wants no monument of righteousness in his sick uh, his sick, uh, lustful world that he, he's uh, trying so hard to attain. So he's coming in with great wrath as the devil that he is, okay? So I got a scripture. See, and these people, these people don't want to lay these things to heart. They figure if they just ignore the words of the prophet and continue um, moving along, that these things, that these things uh, won't happen, right? But to the spirit, we understand that Yahweh Bashim is expediting the downfall of Babylon the Great, the destruction of the heathen, the destruction of our enemies, and the destruction of the wicked two-thirds of the nation of Israel. Hey, but first, uh, but first, this devil has to make his move, okay? So he's moving fervently in a feeble attempt to set up his, his new world order, okay? He's coming in with that wrath. So, so with no further, further ado, I want to go to Revelation chapter 12, and 12 says, and this is the spirit that we're in because uh, we're hasting the times of Yahweh by Shimei and, and all in indicators, uh, all indications show, and the sign is that Yahweh by Shimei is getting ready to destroy this place, uh, Babylon the Great. Okay, Revelation chapter twelve and twelve says, "Therefore we rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath." Because he knows that he has but the short time. So this is his this is his feeble attempt. Right? This is a feeble attempt to set up this, this dystopian world, which he seeks to ultimately destroy the monument of righteousness, okay? No righteous people upon the earth in a sick, twisted world that he's trying so hard to, to, to draw up to scratch at the things he thinks he's gonna prolong his rulership. But like the brother, the brother stated. We are in a paradigm shift, shift, which, which marks the the changing of the guard, which which uh, and he's having a hard time accept this, right? Okay, so Esau, even the so-called white devil, is is uh, coming out of power, and he sees he sees all signs, you know, the indicators of of these uh, of all these signs of these uh, evils and perils that's going to befall the world. Those pertain to his downfall, okay? Second Ezra chapter 8 and 50 says, and this is in regards to the whole world, right? Except the elect. We'll, we'll go into that as well. Second Ezra chapter 8 and 50 says, For many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time, in the latter time shall draw in the world because they have walked in great pride, okay? So Esau Edom is, you know, is the monument of pride, right? Also, our, also, also the majority of the world, the, the heathen nations, right? It's Elamites, these Moabites, these Asians, these Middle Easterners, uh, Elam, uh, Hindus, the Arabians. They they're lifted up because they have they have the resources of the world along with the, with the Esau Edom so they're puffed up at the Israelite so that's why Yahweh Bashir and is all that's part of the reason why Yahweh Bashir and is going to destroy Babylon the Great you know to wipe to to sweep it off their table you know so so this devil is scratching at a feeble attempt to offset his prophecy right. 
and the, and it's the thing the, these people don't want to lay to heart these things that's going to befall the world which is going to far surpass all all tribulation that's ever been seen upon the face of the earth at least you repent you israelites which is so-called hispanics latinos native americans african americans y'all the only ones that have a shot at salvation okay she don't want to hear to the spirit you know she's a she's a northerner okay she don't want to hear it but it's the truth and that's to her condemnation because she's probably a filthy whore these people that hear this word they're set up they're, they're set up to be to be marked for judgment and this is why these perils are going to come because everybody wants to ignore the fact that this this is going to happen everybody through the spirit even the heathen understand this you know they have they pretend to know righteousness matthew chapter 24 and 21 Matthew chapter four, or 24 and 21 says, for then, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be, except those days should be shortened. There shall no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So Yahweh by Shia is expediting the, the downfall and destruction of Babylon the Great on behalf of the nation of Israel, and moreover, for his elect's sake, okay, for the remnant of the nation of Israel, the righteous men that are in their lot today, doing the will, the, doing the bidding and the will of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the Creator. We're doing the righteous bidding of the Lord. I have not come, my, I have not come myself, but he that sent me. And like the, through the Spirit, brothers have been saying this, this is not of our will. There's no possible way to wada y'all by shimmy out shy. There's no possible way that we could be out here doing this of our own will. There's no possible way. Okay, so so ultimately through the spirit uh, and, and through a blessing, y'all by shimmy shy has given us uh, utterance and given us uh, the, the strength and stamina to come out here on the highways and byways. Okay, and let you people know, let you people know what's getting ready to happen. Everybody wants to, everybody is, is in folly right now. Everybody's uh, it, under hypnosis, ignoring the ignoring the elephant in the room, okay? Which, which part of the elephant in the room? Well, you can see Ukraine and Russia, okay? That's a big thing out there. That's a big thing happening in regard to the scripture. Yahweh uh, is in the minds of the kings, right? Gather to gather the heathen in the land of Jehovah. I, I mean, I don't want to fear from the lesson, but <coughs> these people don't consider the impending miseries and and uh and wrath that's coming upon the earth and you know just through the spirit i'm gonna get this i've been getting this one a lot they can't see what's about to happen baby second peter chapter 3 and 11 says seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness so what seeing the signs considering considering all the things that are happening upon the earth what manner of conversation should you be in or what mindset should you be in should you be immersed in folly should you be immersed in homosexuality and adultery and covetousness and racism esau should you be in that spirit? No, because how about Shem and Shai is going to render a righteous indignation upon the heathen and the two thirds, which are, are are also heathen, you know, through the spirit, he's gonna destroy them. You should be seeking the creator, you know, with all diligence in these times, because we're warning you of the said perils that's getting ready to happen, okay? Because if you if uh, the scriptures say we seek new heavens, we dwell with righteousness. Let me see to the spirit if I can find that. The scriptures taking me to Jeremiah 30. Is it either a psalm or Nevertheless, let me just 
just go to the spirit over here. Yeah, let's, let's hit Daniel. The brother brought it out, and I believe this is in regards to that, that changing of the guard, that power shift, right, that we're getting ready to see. Daniel 7 and 18 says, oh yeah, exactly. That's why Esau Edom is having a hard time accepting the reality that the Israelites and the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans, so-called African Americans are getting ready to take the kingdom, are getting ready to rule the earth as righteous rulers of the earth, of the universe, right? Because we've been set up through the spirit of Hamas, Yahweh Shai. Daniel chapter 7 and 18 says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever. Okay? We're going to take the kingdom from these damn bastards, these strangers, okay? We're going to take the kingdom. How are we going to take the kingdom? By something as subtle as, as our faith, as diligence, as through a word. We're not take it like, we're not going to take it by no sword, by no bargaining, by no reasoning, you know? Okay? They do not consider the council of the Most High shall stand. And guess what? Where the where the where the uh, where the uh, where the where the where the word uh, where, where, uh, where the word of a king is power. You know, you can't compromise with Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, and you're not going to compromise with the saints. We're going to have we're going to take the kingdom. Okay, it's going to be given to us. Okay, because we desire a kingdom. All right. And of course, Esau is going to try to put up a fight. This is his feeble attempt. We're going to go to Wisdom of Solomon, where we, where we, we where it expounds on us desiring a kingdom. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6. Okay, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 and 20 says, Therefore the desires of wisdom bringeth a kingdom. So Yahweh Bashir Shah's blessing is let with, with the wisdom that is the pathway, the schematic, the blueprints to a kingdom. What we ought to be doing. Verse 21 says, If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. As for wisdom, which she is and how she came up, I will tell you, and I will not hide mysteries from you, but will seek her out of out from the beginning of her nativity and bring the knowledge of her unto light and will not pass over the truth. Neither will I go with consuming envy for such a man have fellowship with wisdom. Yeah, if you ain't in the right spirit, wisdom won't dwell with you, but, but with the multitude of the wise welfare of the world, and the wise king is the upholding of the people. Re receive therefore instruction to my words and it shall do you good. Okay? So we want to be given diligence seeing the, seeing the times that we're in, you know? Considering the time. Scripture say, man, drop that time diligence. Dil diligently. Right? Also, this the scripture, 2 Thessalonians chapter 5 and 1, I believe, is there's no need I run unto you because y'all perfectly know the time and hour of, of, of what time we're in. And we're in the time of the end. And that's why y'all by church has given us an abundance of the spirit to come out here and exalt his name. You know? To show his power, magnify his power. And I'm going and all, all the so I'm gonna go into that in a bit, you know. And you know, and, and this the, so going back, reverting back to that uh Revelations 12 and 12, right? He's coming upon the nation of Israel because he sees that we're about to we're about to seize the kingdom. He can't deal with it, okay? That's that reverting back to Revelations chapter 12 and 12. I'll grab it one more time through the spirit. It says, Therefore rejoice in heaven. That's talking, so we're rejoicing. He's not rejoicing, right? Because he sees his demise. And ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So that's that's why he's such in a rush. You know, he's in a rush, what they call it, uh, op Operation Warp Speed, to get you juiced out. 
But if it were possible, they would fool the very elect. But it's not possible. Adon Ratazah, we were of that guard. And we're not going to be fooled of Esau Edom's devices. You know? You know, he, he, he does a diligent search on how to destroy the nation of Israel. He has labored from his youth and wickedness. And there's more and more and more, you know? And then they're on the tip of my tongue. So, so he's ultimately trying to come, come down on us. And, he, and he's coming with that great wrath. But the scripture's given reassurance. There's going to be a time when Yahweh Hashem is going to give us strength. He's going to give us strength, which is that uh, spiritual power, right? Isaiah, if you bear with me. Isaiah 59. And these women, they see that power and, and they love it. They want, they want to take Jake home, you know? Hey, that's what it's going to be like. And they, they see that power. They there's two Edomite chiefs through the spirit. They're, you know, they, they, they're looking over here. They was looking over here because they sense that power. Isaiah 59 and 19 says, So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the east. The rising of the sun when the enemy, Esau, Edom, shall come in like a flood. He can't, he, you know, he's groping in the noonday. He shall not. He shall not feel quietness in his belly. He's 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 worked up. Where they call they call it in, in the hood. He 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 shook. You know. He vexed. So he, he's coming in like the demon that he is. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. But but Yahweh Shem is going to. Uh, that's that supernatural intervention, that spiritual power that Yahweh Shem is going to bless his elect. Okay, the spirit, of, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him, meaning he's going to be as nothing up against the men of the Lord. Okay, it says, and the redeemer shall come to him, and the redeemer shall come to, to Zion, and then to them that turn from the transgression in Jacob and the Lord, and, and, and going into uh, these, these spiritual powers, you know. Uh, I have something. You bear with me. I believe it's this one to the spirit. Okay? Because how about you, my shot is the one that quickens us? Isaiah 40. Yahweh uh, Hashem is going to bless us with that power, you know? And that's something Esau envies. You eat of my too, envy, Jake. You envy. You're going, to, you're going to be confounded when you see a little baby Jake with Jordans flying around, laser beaming you down. You damn devil. Okay, they can't see us. Isaiah chapter 40. Ah, right here. Isaiah chapter 40 and 29 says, This is where Abba Shash is going to bless his elect. It says, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be not weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. That's talking about these heathen nations. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. And that's going in, that's going into more of that's going into the Alabash has given us that strength, you know, because everyone, everyone out here in the world is through. They don't have they're not plugged in to that power source, you know. The world is constantly draining them out, but the elect remnant have that battery pack you know we just plug in and we get rejuiced and we get we plug in and we get rejuiced so we're not we're not to faint and you men out there that are not engulfed in the spirit right now it's not a good look i'll tell you that it's not a good look if you're not increasing to the spirit it's not a good look it's an indicator you already know what that means it's an indicator that you need to pick pick up the pace or or deplete the race, you know? The 
say I'd rather you be not hot nor cold. I'd rather you be hot or cold. Pick a side. Join the gang. Join, choose up, as they say in the world, right? Stop, stop being back and forth. You're playing yourself. Okay. So how about your ancestors gonna bless, bless Israel? With, with this with this uh with this kingdom and with that power that uh that rod we're gonna judge the healing we're gonna break the healing into pieces okay with that scepter of righteousness okay that's why they can't stand it that's why they, that's why they gotta move that's why they're moving that's why they're uh what did I write Esau's the brother stated I, I he swear to this Esau's ramping us his his satanic activity because he knows that he has for a short time. Okay? Psalms. And a part of the let uh today's count when I was start before I seen the brother's video, right? This is to the, to the spirit the brother inspired many men, right? With one being myself. Because I wasn't sure if I was I didn't have enough material, I didn't have no I today was a bit more of a busier day from that's why I'm out here a little bit later. But see to the spirit, y'all about sharing. Should I bless that brother? Put the spirit on him to make a video, then to connect us to the power source to be able to expound you to you, right? I saw, I saw. Hey, this this is this is something else out here. This is through the spirit. This ain't. This is all through the spirit. You know, we're just doing our. We're just vessels. We're just like cell phone towers. You know, we're just ping ping. We get a signal. Shoot the brother shoots me a signal. I shoot you a signal. Okay. The, the signal is these doctrines, these words of encouragement, of exhortment, of prophecy, of exhortation, of comfort, and also to exalt our power, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Woo! Isaiah, Psalms, this is why Esau is so scared at right now. Psalms 149 and 5 says, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud up upon their beds. Let the high praise of Yahweh be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute, to execute vengeance upon the heathen. That's why these, these damn devils is wrapping up their goddamn satanic new world order because they know that this is coming. Execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and the nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon the judgment written this honor have all his saints praise ye Yahweh we're going to have the pleasure to lay hold of our enemies Esau Edom the so called white man the white devil and punish his ass for all the wickedness he pollutes the earth with okay simple that's why these damn devils are wrapping up their damn satanic devices. But Yahweh Bashan to the Spirit is giving all, all this glory to his remnant, the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? So it's time for you brothers falling off. It's time for you to seek the Creator ten times more. I'll run to the Spirit. That's to the Spirit humbly speaking, that's what I, I what I'm trying to achieve, okay? And I can only relay that message unto you. And make you ultimately get in that spirit if you're in a low spirit. That's this is not this is to this is to who it pertains, right? Psalms chapter fifty and and I'm gonna start at three it says, Our God our power shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tumultuous round about him. Y'all about to come in with them chariots, boy. Them, them, uh, them, uh, so called, uh, flying, uh, unidentified flying phenomenons, right? As these people call UFOs, those are the chariots of the Lord. The whirlwinds of fire to come are going to render uh, vengeance upon Esau Edom, so called white man, the devil, for all his crimes against humanity, for all the pollution in the world. 
all his wickedness because he's just a cancer upon the earth. The earth, the earth is languishing, okay? The earth do its language. The, it says when the wicked are in story, the people mourn. But when the righteous are third, the people rejoice. And that's what's getting ready to come to the earth. A huge blessing. Even the animals. It says something about said, I believe it's something about the uh the cedars of Lebanon shall rejoice. Even the plants in the earth is about to rejoice when the nation of Israel get back into power. You know, and how, how are we getting back into power? We're getting back into power to do, 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 doing doing the will. Doing the uh, being in the good graces of Hamashiach Yahushai, taking heed to these words, um, uh, rehearsing the righteous acts, keeping the laws and commandments to the best of our ability, teaching our people, coming out on the highways and byways, present, presenting our bodies as living sacrifice. The Yahushim Yahushai may count you worthy to escape the said perils. Okay. Verse four says, "He shall call to the heavens from above." And to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Sacrifice. Okay? And the heavens shall declare his righteousness from Yahweh, his judge himself. And guess what? Yah Bashimash is judge. Not, not this goddamn Esau eating the so-called white devil. He ain't the judge of the earth, though he thinks to be. See how about it says it says in the fullness of its efficiency. Uh, Yahweh Bashir is going to slap it out of their hands, right? Because they're in, they're in a huge, eff, they're in an effort to try to set up their new world order, thinking that they're going to pro, pro, prolong the rulership and, and continue their oppression upon the earth and continue to have the nation of Israel oppressed, which is so-called African-Americans, Hispanics, and Latinos. Because Israel, you're a devil, okay? Straight up. The so-called white man is a devil, okay? He's the devil. Straight up. No, what? The so-called white man. He's a son of perdition. He, yep. He from from the from the from the from the womb. Uh, there is no truth in him. Okay, from the times of Esau and Jacob, he was already uh, designed to be the destroyer of the earth and to be the cancer upon the world. And these are the righteous people. This is the, the stem from the uh, from Jacob. Okay. Okay. So, and this is this would be through your father's lineage. So Christianity, through the hands of the so-called white man, because he's so, he seeks to control the narrative of everything, if you haven't realized that, and to oppress everybody in the world, okay, if you have not realized that as well. And if you have not realized that as well, he's trying to give you not but one, but five poisons for yourself to take, as you know, it was gonna, he's trying to hurt everybody into the, the MOTV, okay? I can't even say it because they censor my videos, but for you all say it, it's called the mark of the beast, okay? Which is that RFID microchip? That's this is what this all is all about. Why is he? Why is he? How? Why? What, what do you mean? Because according to the scripture, and I already went into this. According to the scriptures, his death. He has an expiration date. Okay, his kingdom, Babylon, Babylon the Great, also known as spiritually Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah, Babylon the Great is America. This place has an expiration date according to the scripture. He wants, and he has, he has, he has spread out his philosophy throughout the world and he is that he is that mother of harlots he is he is the highest lifted up and he and, er, and everybody cleaves to him okay because he has the best technology so called he, he's flexing himself as to be god but like i said according to scripture he has an expiration date what we're saying his plan is to perpetuate this the oppression and slaving upon the world yeah. through these things that i'm saying right you're telling me you're telling me that is that even huh is that even god or who the no, yeah, yeah, he's a he's he's a he's a demonic spiritual yeah. entity, but in, in you know now what vampires but, do forever. I get what you mean. I get what you're saying, and, and I get exactly what you're saying. So if you, this is what I'm saying, there's actually also a physical embodiment. So like these these upper echelon white people or whatever they call the elite, right? Whatever yeah. they they when they do their wickedness, when they release their, their poisons, when when they when when they make a move in the earth, right? They 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 call upon uh, the spiritual demon Satan for blessings. That they do child sacrifice. I'm sure you heard of that. Yeah, heard about they that. drink blood. You know, that's that's not hitting anymore. Like those are like universal things. Like everybody knows that. So they call on. on they they bring out their sorcery. Their, they do a lot of witchcraft kind of scenes. That's why when you go into a lot of the uh, like the monuments over there in Washington D.C., a lot of the stuff is connected to paganism. It's connected to like Egyptology. It's all things that that um, pretty much go against. The righteous one, the righteous God of Israel, which you, 
in which there is a righteous power. Now, now that we're speaking to this, can I ask you a question? What what is your what is your father's nationality? So I can give you some insight. I mean, the, just just go with your best guess. In this country, is he a uh, white boy? The majority of Mexicans or Indians are first half Marines. I get what you're saying. Okay, so he, yes, I know. So just as much as me, right? I'm I'm a so-called Mexican. Okay. Spaniards. Spaniards is white. They're they're, sp Hispanic. they're colonizers. Hispanic. 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 It's just ethnicity. That's all. Look, you're confused, bro. I get what you're saying. Indigenous, the indigenous natives of the Americas are the Israelites. Okay. That's why you have the tribe of Gad. That's why you have this part. The Seminole Indians. Those, those were. These are the Israelites. These are the Gad right here. The North American Indian. Okay. Issachar, the Mexicans. Pertaining to. So what I'm. Okay. So now I'm, I'm picking up something. You know, you, I'm reading between the lines. Mm -hmm. what, you, what you're giving, but alpha, what you're giving me, brother. This is what I'm picking up off of you. You are an Israelite. And guess what? This guess what? Your life is about to change in the most dramatic and beautiful, most underdog story of glory and power and dominion and rulership and strength. All because you pertain to a but there's actually a course in action. It's not because two-thirds of our people are gonna be destroyed according to the scripture. But if you're able to receive this knowledge, repent unto Yahweh Meshad, which is it's not Jesus Christ, no right? Because that was uh, given to us. That was force fed to our people, right? Yeah, definitely. How, how would you say it? Translate to English, right? Because yeah, exactly what I'm saying. Uh, Jesus or Yahweh Shai, we were we we're using the ancient art. See, we even got stripped of our own our real language. So we're going back to our own language. They've done that perpetuously over and over again. So like the Aztecs, right? They're, they, our people came, they were, they were besiegers. The Romans and the Greeks, they drove us out of that land. And we fled the nation of Israel. These people, some fled everywhere, but the Northern Kingdom uh, fled uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the interior of the Americas. So that's why our people are, are, are all, they fled into the Americas is what I'm saying. You're saying that at that time, the continent the, It's called 70 AD, the, uh, no, we fucking made it. We made it across the fucking uh, across the world to the spirit uh, across the Euphrates River to uh, Yahweh Shemeshai stopped the winds and let us pass through. And we made it into and because there's and, and that's that's deep. That's like I know this. I, I read those scriptures coming to my mind, but I'm not that seasoned to bring them out. I know they exist because I, I hear them. But Yahweh Shemeshai made a way for us. Ultimately, are all the some, somehow some way. All these people made, most of these people are in the Americas. Actually, all these people are in the Americas right now. The Israelites are in the Americas because this, America, okay, spiritually, America is an altar. You know what an altar is, right? Okay, altar is, but uh, but spiritually, an altar would be, it's in ancient times, it, you would make, you, you would be, it would, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, yeah, you're, you're on some shit now. You exactly, this is what I, you said it better than I could. Okay, so spiritually, this is an altar. Guess who the sacrifice is? Exactly. Exactly. But he has a remnant, the elect. The elect. There's certain men out of these tribes. Okay, do you know, I'm sure you heard this. Do you know, like, in, in the, the scriptures regarding the kingdom of heaven, there's 144. Uh, Saints. Mark Saints. Mar uh, what do you say? Mark Saints. Yeah, okay. You see, you know some shit. Okay, now you see this. You see 12 tribes on here, right? There's 12 tribes. Right. Just to make it easy. There's 12 gates in the kingdom. Each each gate pertains to each tribe. I'm not saying only 144,000 people are going to be saved. No, that's not what that means. 144,000 means there's 12,000 from this tribe, 12,000 from that tribe, 12, and those are going to be the kings of the new world to come. Okay, so we're in a paradigm shift. Esau Edom is going to be stripped out. You should chill and listen because I, I already pretty much went in on all that stuff. And like what I'm telling you, brother, okay, because I perceive you to spare your initial light, and, and, and all indications show that because our people are oppressed. Our, what's that? The lion, uh, uh, the lion of Judah, which represents our Lord, uh, which is which is so-called Jesus Christ, right? What's that? The lamb represents the Lord. He's a sacrifice. The lamb. The lamb. Yeah, he's a lamb. He's regarded as a lamb as well. So, but there, he's also regarded as the lamb of Judah. Uh, 
as a lion from the tribe of Judah. Because okay, if you, okay, so because you know what the scripture says as well, there was one that one that was going to be able to to, uh, to open the books, right? And he and that was the so-called Jesus Christ, right? The so-called Jesus Christ is the so-called black man. So the tribe I'm telling you right now, the so-called tribe of Judah right now upon the earth. And I'll give you an example to, to explain it. The so-called tribe of the tribe of Judah, so-called African Americans, or the tribe of Judah, and that's where uh, Yahweh Shai, so-called Jesus Christ, is. He's a Judah. He would be a so-called. So if, when G, when he, when you see him, he's gonna appear to him, but he's gonna he's gonna have an afro. He's got he's got red eyes. He's fucking pissed. He's not some pussy white boy, bro. All right, this is another spiritual thing, right? So you so you've read some of this Bible, right? Okay. So these dark, these deep and dark, treacherous words. You think that would be that would that would be some pussy ass white boy as they show you in the future? You think these glorious words, some pussy ass white boy would? That's who it is. You could no if you if you think in between. If you open up that mindset, and you you is that? Yeah, but we have uh, we're giving back. We're giving. Uh, I'm set up right now, bro. This is this is this is right here. What this is? What's that? Yeah, yeah, he's win yeah, he's winning. But, but, but guess what? Guess what? Yeah, because he has the mind of our people all fucked up. Yeah, exactly. But we're here as a light. We're here as a light to shed light and tell you the place, right? To tell you who you are, who the enemy is, who the Lord is, what's going on. To give you the gameplay, the blueprint. Because why? Even even myself, about two years ago, I was white, uh, walking around, uh, walking around here, fucking lost, not knowing the damn shit. About who I am, what it means, what's gonna happen, and every and, and then see. Okay, you see every. You see. Do you see this place circling the grain? Do you see uh, America? Like, do you see this place waxing worse and worse and worse? Like, you know, in, in regards to this, the more we're everything. Getting, like, we're getting at. Yeah. Okay. So you see where I'm getting at. So all that, that's on behalf. You how about you made a promise? Y'all about you to stand good on his promise. The God of Israel. So now that you know pertaining to this, the scripture is speaking to the to the nation of Israel. Now you fall under that umbrella of basically what I'm saying is God represents you, or therefore you're an extension of God, based on the fact that you're an Israelite, or that you're from the from of Israel. Same thing, right? So there's an extension right there for you. So Yahweh by Shimei Shah is destroying this world and he's gonna destroy you. And we're gonna be out of here soon. Like Soon, soon. You don't believe me? Oh, yeah, that could be two, four, five, six, eight years. Bullshit. We're going to be out here within the one. It ain't going to be, it ain't going to be long, bro. When I, when I mean long, it's like shit, like, like, no more than a year. Huh? Two years, if, if possible, right? If lucky. I mean, not lucky for us, but lucky for these fucking devils that, that are running the world. Okay? But, you, there's going to be a fucking way out. But, you, but right now, what I'm showing you, this is the seed. A seed is being planted right now, which I'm fairly, I haven't been in this too long, so I can't come at you with all the glory and shit. I'm doing, I'm trying my best, my ability to give you what it really is. I'm pushing the light, pushing the light of the truth that's been hidden from us, the Israelites, and we're the holy people, we're, we're the glory, we're the excellency of the whole world. But look, look at the conditions we're in. That is, that is also due to our punishment. I see the devil Yasharala, which, which means princes of the power, you'd be regarded as. You should be, these fucking devils should be licking your toes right now just based on the fact where well, they are in the kingdom. Yeah, they are. They have oppressed our people. And so look, it's only fair. 
But that's what you, that's why I'm here to set you up, let you know that you're an Israelite, let you know that you should look into Yahweh by Shimei and 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 start. And, and the best thing you can do for, for your spirit, spirit, is start trying to follow the uh, law, statutes, and commandments. It's like stop judged, eating. If you live by the, if you live by the commandments, you'll, you'll be judged by the commandments. Yeah, exactly. But that's that. You're, you're right about that. But to, so we're saved through faith. Okay. So there is impossible to keep the fucking commandments to 100. percent I'm not saying. I'm not pushing that. But as as an act of of, of uh, what would be um, like um, rehearsal, you want to rehearse the rice is that you want to clean yourself as much as possible. Therefore, you can receive uh, an, an alignment of faith that you may increase in the not because that's the only way Yahweh can extend to you. He can reveal himself more and more to you and, and to get to get where I'm at because I'm fully persuaded. All, after everything I've seen, bro, I've seen chariots. You know what chariot? You know these UFOs and shit. Yeah. Those aren't UFOs. Do you have you seen them yet? Sure you've seen them okay well you're gonna see them more and more those are not the ufo those aren't ufos this, this white man says these are the angels of the most high that are gonna deliver those are the angels probably protecting you based on the fact that you're an israelite based on the fact that i'm an israelite because it says the scriptures say the angels are cap about of them that hear that fear the, uh, of them that fear him so through the spirit we fear our lord circumstance how because we're all here doing like i'm not i'm not gaining nothing doing this i'm actually like putting myself on the line because it, you know, this, I'm telling people, I'm telling the fucking white man, he's a devil. I'm telling that this motherfucker's a faggot. I'm telling, I'm telling everybody, hey, you're, you're, you this bitch is a whore, you know? Like, I'm calling out what's everything, right? And if that's, that, that puts you in a, in a, in regards to this society, that puts you in like, what? Like, that could get me fired, that could get me beat up. That, so we're laying it all on the line. And well, you just, you're gonna forget, I mean, you without seeing cast the first team. What's that? You without seeing cast the first team. But no, but what? I guess you go God loves you, man. God loves me. Look, exactly. We're not perfect, but see, we're. But these these acts of coming out here is that's what's, that's why there's no. an that's why there's an elect. The elect pretty much have a past, bro. In regards to, they're set up to, to be able to do that because the elect is ultimately going to be judges. They're gonna, those are going to be the judge. Those are going to be the judges, like the 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe. Those are going to be the judge, judges of the whole universe. I'm just telling you, bro. Look into it, y'all. And I, uh, I study. So there's a lot of caps like us, but then there's sext. I study off a of great millstone. All right. I would, I would look into the Hebrew Israelite great millstone. You're an Israelite, bro, and. If you can hang in there and, and, and... Oh, my faith ain't going nowhere, brother. If you can hang in there, well, but see, the thing is, okay, well, who do you pray to right now? So you pray to God to pray, okay, so, but now, but now I gave you a name. Look, Yahweh by Shimei al Shai. That's the actual name. Through the spirit of the creator of the holy tongue, the Hebrew, the, the, the Hebrew okay? So now you have an extension. Use that, what I just gave you. The name of your power. You just know him as God, or you know him as White Jesus, whatever. The, whatever they sold you already. It matters, bro. I'm telling you, it matters. They wouldn't. They wouldn't be named. There wouldn't be uh, eighteen different nations uh, in the scriptures. Like how about you, Shai? He just favored a nation, which was the Israelites, which was the so-called African Americans, Spanish and Latinos. And then he, he's like that, bro. Why can't God do that? Why couldn't God choose what He wants? Well, it's like He's an artist. He's a creator. You make a bunch of paint. You make you make a bunch of creations. You're you're ultimately it's your creation. You can choose which ones you like, which ones you don't like, and that's what it is, bro. You don't have to. Don't. That's that Christian bullshit, bro. That's that Christian love. It, dude. Read these scriptures, bro. There ain't no goddamn love and, and lilies and flowers, bro. This is all this shit is about. Fucking the white man's about to get put to death. The, uh, the Old Testament. The Old Testament. I read them both, brother. Bro, and and you know what? My whole my whole sacrifice being out here of everything I do. It just ultimately been for you to come across this. That's all it means. That's all, and that's ultimately all what God wants from us. Nothing more, nothing less. That's all He wants to try to convey His message to His people. Okay, the nation of Israel. You know, okay. I'm with you, brother. And I can't oh, well, okay, but now, okay, there's now there's now there's a duality. You know the word duality, right? There's a duality. This, this is deep. There's two things now that's going to happen. Either you increase in this and take this shit seriously, or now you just been marked for death. Straight up. Straight up like that. And if you reject this shit, it's not looking good for you, bro. That's it. It's gonna be a light shine. The ones that are in the I'm just giving you I'm giving you the truth, bro. Whether whether the, there's a sweet side and there's a sour side. I'm just giving you
get you, Bubba. All right, man. Okay, you just been. All right. Well, take it seriously. That's all I can tell you. Hey, man. That is Jake. Jake is in that Christian bullshit, you know? So we're out here exalting our power. We can't go. Uh... So ultimately, this is what I was trying to tell the brother through the spirit, baby. Proverbs 8 and 34. Proverbs 8 and 34 says, Blessed is a man that heareth me, watcheth daily at my gate, waiting at my post of my doors. And to the Spirit, that's what we're doing, okay? And we're, we're to exalt the Most High, you know? And, and, and that's uh, part, of the, part of the script, uh, part of the lesson I wanted to go into. We're out here, we're out here to, uh, to, uh, Praise the Heavenly Father, you know? That He may have mercy upon us for these things to come. Sirach chapter 4. Sirach 43. It's getting dark out here. Sirach 43 and 30 says, The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous is his power. And that's what I was trying to ultimately trying to tell this guy, you know. And when we glorify, you know, I'm going to read this with some power. It says, When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can for even yet will he for even yet will he far exceed and when he exalt him put forth all your strength and be not weary for you can never go far enough okay who has seen him that he might tell us and who can magnify him as he is there are yet did, there are yet hid greater things than these for we have seen but few of the but few of his works for the Lord had made all things and to the godly hath he given wisdom you know he's given given me right humbly speaking a, a certain amount of uh, wisdom and that's that's all I need you know to speak to be able to exalt to the best of my ability okay that's what Yahweh Shai wants I don't see why that's so hard for a lot of men to, to understand that's the part of lesson I want to go into. All the way around to the spirit, y'all about to just give me a, a more measure in this, okay? Psalms 145 says, I will exalt thee, my power. O King, I will bless thy name forever and ever. Verse 2, every day will I bless thee, and will I praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and great to be praised, and his greatness un is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare my mighty acts. I will speak of the glory and honor of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works, and all men shall speak of the might of the terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of the great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over are over all his works. All thy all thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of the kingdom and talk of thy power to make known the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy, thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The, uh, the Lord uphold, 
the, the Lord uphold all that fall and riseth up, all those that be bowed down, the eyes of all that wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest, openest thy hand and sanctify the desires of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him and to all and to all that call upon him in truth. He will, full, he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He will also hear thy cry and will save them. The Lord preserveth them all. The Lord preserveth all them that love him. All the wicked will he destroy. Esau, eat them. My mouth shall he speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Okay? So why do y'all bash me out for giving me a measure of faith and exhortation that I may reverence my power? Okay? See, how about you, my child, is worthy to be praised? fight for your crown and that's probably where, I'm, probably where I'm gonna end we want to fight for our crown we want to give that diligence to make our crown, calling and election short okay there's gonna be our temptation coming to all all the world okay to try them Revelation chapter 3 and 9 says behold I will so lock it Revelation chapter 3 and 10 says because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Verse 11, it says, Behold, I come quickly, hold thou fast which thou, which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. All right, Akiam, you, you, you want to put up your fight. To the spirit I was speaking, so you want to put up a hell of a fight, you know? Put up your fight because this is for your, for your heritage, you know? For your dominion of generations to generations you know of your seed of your seed line everything you represent as a as a being as a god this is what you want to do behold i come quickly hold thou fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown everything that you fall for you have this knowledge of Yahweh, Shimei, Shai, hold hold on to it him that overcometh i will make a pillar in the temple of my god and he shall go out no more we're not going to be oppressed no more. This goddamn devil is not going to be able to run us around like some fucking dogs. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is going to strengthen us to be above our oppressors, to have our foot upon their necks, so-called white man, right? So this is why you want to get in the fight. Him that overcometh, I will make a pillar in thy temple of thy God, and he shall no more go out. I will write upon him my, new, my name, I shall write upon him the name of my God, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power. I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the, unto the churches. Hey, so with that, that concludes my camp for today. Dwari Yahweh Bashim Yahushai for giving me an amount, a measure to speak today. Dwari Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Yahweh uh, keeps me and uh, uh, keeps the spirit upon me to continue in, in my fight for my crown. Praise Yahweh Bashim all honor. I want to give all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rafadash. Hey, double honors to the apostle, the great millstone, who taught the truth and who were well. A humble citation to Aki and pushing his work in truth and sincerity. I say Shalom.